Mm. Bosa remains unsigned. Mm. Uh, the season starts a week from Sunday. Uh, he's held out for almost 40 days at this point, and there's no end in sight. Who knows? I mean, um, <clears throat> there's a number of different reports out there. It's been a very, um, it's been a very quiet holdout. This has not been your acrimonious, loud holdout. This has been a quiet holdout. Um, there was talk in the last 24 hours that his agent, in fact, Matt Barrows went on 95.7 The Game and said that Bosa's agent could very well be using Tuesday's 1 p.m. Pacific deadline as leverage. Um, and Barrows then added, I would worry about Bosa for sure. Um, 49er, John, 49er general manager John Lynch said on Friday that he believes a deal gets done before week one. But he also said, we've got a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. um, Pat McAfee, on his show, Ian Rappaport came on, and this is what Rappaport said. He said, they're not there yet, and I don't get the sense they're close at all. So I don't get the sense anything is imminent, but at least it sounds like they've been some level of conversation, I guess, which is as there, as there should be. It's, it's like there's been at least some touching base they're not there yet, and I know this probably doesn't make anyone feel better, but there's still a lot of time. I mean, Bosa, I'm sure, keeps himself in unbelievable shape. I don't think he's going to need a lot of acclimation period. So even if he shows up five days from now, I'm sure he'll be ready for the season. I mean, everybody knows <clears throat> that he's um, in great shape. He's always in great shape. Rappaport went on to say he, he's going to make a lot of money. I feel very confident that if he signs a deal, he's going to be the highest paid edge rusher in the NFL. I feel, I feel very confident in that, of course, and he should be. It's just how high does he get? Does he get Aaron Donald money? Does he get the highest paid non-quarterback money? What does he get? And I think that's more of the, of the question than are the 49ers going to pay him? All right, yeah. so that, that was the latest, but right before – we went live here. Uh, my youngest son said to me, hey, Dad, <laughs> um, have you seen this Reddit post um, uh, on Nick Bosa? And <laughs> um, let's read a couple of these chats here. Eric Hernandez says, what are the odds Bosa is traded? Season would be sunk before it started. Always drip 805 says, Larry Kruger, Bosa not looking like a team player. He's looking real selfish right now. Or does he hate California that bad? Um, we've got this one from Frobafet. Any truth to these Bosa to the AFC team trade rumors? Um, always Drip 805 says, I effed up by buying a Bosa jersey oh, now. Man. So, Raj, I'm not, I didn't, I have not seen this Reddit report. I just heard it from my youngest son. Um, what can you tell us about this report that's out there? Okay. Yeah. So it, again, I think it's fake news. It's clickbait. It's just people, you know, they're gassing this up because right now everybody knows Nick Bosa's name is trending. So if you make up some story, everybody's going to go with it because you plant seeds of doubt and people, oh, well, maybe it is true. Maybe how do they, how do we know it's not true? How, maybe what if he does get traded? So then people start coming up with hypotheticals. That's, you know, how these usually start. So anyway, this is what it was. It was some Reddit post. And then it made its way on Twitter and everybody's freaking out. So on the I have the post in front of me. It says, I'm the same Redditor who broke the Christian McCaffrey to the 49ers trade news before it happened. This is a recent development and it's happening right now. There has been a breakdown in negotiations between the 49ers and Nick Bosa. Bosa is asking for a lot more than the 49ers budgeted for and essentially has all the leverage in the current situation. 49ers are threatening to trade him to an unnamed AFC team if Bosa doesn't sign their current offer within the next week unnamed team prepared to pay Bosa what he wants. And then it says, reminder that similar situation happened with DeForest Buckner. They were far apart in numbers and the 49ers cut ties. San Francisco reportedly has been working on parameters of a blockbuster trade for several weeks. So this is the Reddit. Take it for what it's worth, Larry. I, again, I think it's fake news, but they're hitting on points that pull at your heartstrings, a default, you know, things that may have happened before. It could linger in the, in the future because the 49ers have, have done this before. And according to if you've kind of paid attention to the reports, like you said with Ian Rappaport, he did say there was a substantial offer, but the agent has said no to it. So, I mean, he's kind of playing off those reports, but I, I don't think anything is true to it. I do feel like there was maybe an offer and the 49ers 
thought that he'd sign it because remember they said that they did budget for Nick Bosa. This was John Lynch several months ago. And I feel like the agent is still pushing for more or maybe the time, like the years might be different from what the 49ers want to give. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's something minor that just preventing these two sides from coming together. Well, I mean, you know, that being said, I mean, I, first of all, the first time you hear trade, you're like, what? No, yeah. there's no way they're going to trade Nick Bosa. Um, on the other hand, anybody could be traded at any point. Mm -hmm. um, it's and and it's football. So, you know, it's like no one player. I mean, if you have a quarterback that you're not trading Mahomes outside of Mahomes and, and a couple of franchise quarterbacks, I think everybody else in the league is is fair game and could be traded. Um, that all being said, I mean, who do you think would be knocking on their door? I mean, <laughs> the Jets. I mean, if I mean we're the, gonna Jets, play the Jets are all in on this year. I mean, you can yeah. see that. Uh, but what would you even want? I mean, it, seriously, if the Jets came knocking and you wanted to make a blockbuster trade with the Jets, what do you want in return? I don't want anything they have. I want Nick Bosa. I think Honestly, the 49ers are not a Super Bowl team without Nick Bosa. I'm not trading them for picks because those picks aren't going to play now, Larry. We have a quarterback, unless unless it's like, there's rumors are saying maybe it's the Chargers, maybe it's it's something like that. But would the Chargers give us Justin Herbert? No, he just signed a mega contract. It just doesn't make sense. What would the 49ers need? They need their pass rusher, their star pass rusher is is what they need. So it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, and again, the Jet or the Jets, they went all in. They've signed everybody they've wanted to. They have their team set. I, I, I if it's for picks, that would be stupid. Would you trade him to the Jets for Will McDonald, uh, you know, from Iowa State, their outstanding young pass rusher and and multiple picks? No. I, I mean, want that's, Nick Bosa. No, I know. I know. But I'm just saying, if if you can't get him signed, I'm just thinking what what's a fair trade? Um, you got to have an, you know, you got to have a defensive end coming back. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. You know, so, I mean, that that's perfectly clear. So you you let them go to the Chargers and they have what do you want you, you taking Joey Khalil Bosa. Mack you taking uh, the USC kid they just drafted uh, Tuli Tula Patulu or whatever his name is yeah yeah uh, he he's been been pretty good I mean I, it's just you, you just can't win you can't yeah. win on a trade Absolutely like that yeah. uh, it would just be the PR would be a nightmare oh. um. You know, I mean, you you the the morale of the team I think would take a major, a major hit if you if you moved him. Um, you and and then you know what would you want back him? You know what I mean? It's like yeah. the day you move him is you know the number one thing you're looking for is what what you what you just left what you just traded. Yeah. So I I don't me oh man. TJ TJ Watt is the only fair compensation in the AFC. If if he trades to the AFC. That's I, even that that wouldn't be fair. Not straight up. I mean, if it was the Chargers, I would want um, Bosa. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I would probably want. Um, God, I don't even know. I mean, Derwin James, or I mean, Khalil Mack, uh, multiple number ones. I mean, it's like I don't know. I, as far as the Jets. I'd I'd want uh, definitely Will McDonald the fourth, and probably you know Jermaine Johnson or something like that, and probably a couple number ones. Yeah. Maybe I'd want Sauce. Oh, you know? maybe yeah, maybe you, get, you throw a would Sauce. You, would there. Would you trade him for Sauce? Not straight up. You got to give me more. I mean, he's the defensive player of the year. I know that's what you don't get the defensive in his player prime, of the year in the prime in the prime of his prime. career. In his prime, Larry. God, I mean, that would just be a nightmare. They gotta um, sign him. Well, you know, here's here's one. Would you? How about Miami? You know, mm -hmm. Miami has not been able to sign Christian Wilkins. Would you take uh, Jalen Phillips? Christian, he's fr he's a Florida guy. Would you take? Um, you know, the best deal you could get for Miami would be like you know Christian Wilkins, Jalen Phillips. And Tyreek Hill or something like that. I don't know. I mean, I mean <laughs> just... you'd have to get something huge in return. But I mean, Nick I might Bosa... do that. I might do that. I might. I might take if I could get Tyreek Hill, 
Jalen Phillips and Christian Wilkins. I might do that. I might. That might that. be. That might be fair. Tyreek Hill on the, with with Debo and Brandon Ayuk. I mean, it's game over. <laughs> I mean, Christian Wilkins is a damn good defensive lineman. There's Not no bad. question about it. Jalen Phillips is a really good edge rusher. Um, they don't want to pay Wilkins. Seems like they 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 just extended Zach Sealer. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, you know, that's it would probably it would have to be it would probably have to be either Waddle and Hill plus two defensive linemen. You have to get an you have to get a star edge rusher because Nick Boss is giving you twenty eighteen to twenty sacks. Like his ability to set the edge and and just put all that pressure on the quarterback is game changer, you know. And you you can't replace like this forty nine er defense is good. This forty nine er fifty three man roster. When I saw it today, I was like. It's good, but it's not great because it doesn't have Nick Bosa on it. Once you put Nick Bosa on it, it's a Super Bowl roster. Without him, it's not a Super Bowl roster. It's a good roster. They'll win 10 games. They're not winning a Super Bowl with it. Maybe give him to D'Amico for, what, Will Anderson? <laughs> uh, Will Anderson, if, Derek Stingley. Larry, if they trade him, if they trade him, I'm so, I'm, I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so done, Larry. I can't do it. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> it would just be so – it would set the whole vibe back. Oh my I mean, God. the Niners – oh, my God. It would just – it would be so deflating, so incredibly deflating. I would love to um, hear the PR spin if they were to trade it. I, that's – wow. Well, they, what would they say? I, I, that's why I don't know. I would love to hear it because there's no – nothing you could you tell You wanted me. too much money? I mean, come there, on. There's nothing you could tell me to make it right. You pay 